Hey guys, this is Josh Bills and today I'm going to show you how to make a Roomba or a vacuuming robot. Now this is an awesome project and it may look a little bit difficult but it's actually pretty easy to do so we're going to break it up into parts and make it nice and simple for you guys. In the first part of the video we're just going to focus on making the vacuum. For this we're going to need a motor, a battery, a fan blade and a switch. We'll start by cutting a pop bottle open and then we're going to cut a few other slices of plastic from it. Now I have this fan that I got from the dollar store. I'll also leave a link to where you can get this from online. And basically all we want from this is the fan blade and the motor. Now we're going to go ahead and put these two parts together. I'm going to go ahead and drill one hole in this piece of plastic here and then after that I'm going to drill three more. Once I have all four holes drilled, I'm going to put glue around it and place it into the front of the water bottle. Next we're going to make a filter. For the filter I use a dish cloth. You can use anything as long as it lets air through but will stop small particles. Now I'm going to glue the filter to the face of the motor. Basically what this is going to do is let air be sucked in through the vacuum, but it will stop the particles from going into the propeller. Now we're going to attach the back half of the vacuum. This can be shorter or longer, it doesn't really matter. The only thing that really matters is that we drill a couple holes in it and basically what these holes will do is let the air escape out of the back of it and then we also want to glue it in place after we slide it in. Next we're going to cut a hole on the lid and this is going to be on the very front of the vacuum. Lastly, all we need to do is build a nice, strong head for the vacuum, and I'm going to use foam board to build this. One thing that we want to make sure is that the very bottom two pieces of styrofoam are as close as possible to each other. Basically, the closer they are to each other, the less air that will be able to flow through there, and that will basically force the air to travel at a higher speed. And then also, after everything's in place, we just want to add a bunch of glue to make this completely airtight. Now I'm going to attach the battery and the switch to the motor. And in the bottom left, you can see a wiring diagram of what I did. Now 
now we can go ahead and test out the vacuum part of the robot. As you can see, it actually works pretty well and gets a good amount of this sawdust up. To empty the vacuum, all we have to do is reverse the wires that plug into the battery. This will instead blow the dirt out of the vacuum to empty it. To build the robot part of the robot, I use a kit called RoboBlock. Now the kit has a nice app that comes with it, so I download the app and I choose the type of robot that I want to build. And then from here, all we have to do is just follow the instructions. So I'm not going to show all of this, but I do want to talk about a couple things. There's a couple type of robots you can build. You can build a type of robot that has an ultrasonic sensor, and then in the end you'd program it so that it could avoid obstacles and go autonomously. Instead, I decide to use the type of robot that can be controlled via Bluetooth from my phone, all through the app. So this is the type of robot we are going to be building. I just go ahead and follow the instructions on the app on the phone and then eventually I'll come out with this finished product here. Now all I need to do is put a bolt through the vacuum cleaner and attach it to the robot. Now I can turn the vacuum on and control the robot from my phone. It is actually a ton of fun controlling this robot and it actually works pretty well for vacuuming the floor. And like I said, you can also do the autonomous robot that has a distance sensor and you can program it to avoid obstacles and all that sort of stuff. As you can see, I have a ton of fun with this robot. If you want to build your own using the RoboBlock robot, you can go to their website now and currently they are offering a 30% off coupon with an extra 5% off if you use the code RoboBlock. And this is only available until the 20th of July so I suggest if you want to build this, you go quickly. I did notice the robot seems to vacuum better on different surfaces. On the Bristol board that I film on, it picks the stuff up very easily, but on a hardwood floor, it seems to smudge it around a little more and it takes a little bit longer to vacuum it up. But all in all, this was an awesome project. And at the end, you can see all the dust I collected as I empty it out. Thanks for watching to the end of my video guys. If you liked it, please be sure to like and subscribe. Also, drop a comment, tell me what you think about this project, and tell me what other projects you'd like to see. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching.